Alibagh is a coastal town and a municipal council in Raigad district of Maharashtra. It is the headquarters of the Raigad district and is south of the city of Mumbai. History Alibagh is a coastal town and municipal council in Raigad district of Maharashtra, India. It is the headquarters of the Raigad district. Revdanda, Chal, Nagan, Akshi, Varsali, Thal, Navgayan, Kahim, and Aawa's villages were known as Ashtagale. Alibagh and its surrounding villages are the historic hinterland of Bene Israeli Jews. There is a synagogue in the Israel Ali, Marathi Israela Ali meaning Israel Lane area of the town. A Bene Israelite named Ali used to live there at that time. He was a rich man and owned many plantations of mangoes and coconuts in his gardens. Hence the locals used to call the place, Alichi Bog, Marathi for, Gardens of Ali, or simply, Ali Bog, and the name stuck. Ali Bog houses a magnetic observatory which was set up in 1904. It serves as one of the significant observatories forming part of a global network now run by Indian Institute of Geomagnetism. The observatory has two buildings, the first building has magnetometers that record changes occurring in the geomagnetic fields. The second building consists of precision recording instruments, which give data about geomagnetic storms caused by solar storms which is shared with other countries. Geography <laughs> 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 Alibagh is located about 120 km south of Mumbai, at 18 degrees 38 minutes 29 seconds north 72 degrees 52 minutes 20 seconds east. The average elevation is 0 meters 0 feet. The district government offices are located along the sea coast road. Alibagh is the center place of Raigad district. Transport Topic. Road One can reach Alibagh via Penn 30 km, which is on the Mumbai 78 km Goa Road. From Mumbai, one can reach Alibagh by traveling on the Mumbai-Goa Highway NH66 till Wadkal or Vadkal and taking the right fork from Wadkal to continue on NH166A the left fork being the road to Goa. It is approximately 108 km from Mumbai. Alibagh is 50 km away from Marud. By boat service from Mumbai one can reach Alibagh by one and half hours journey. One can reach Alibagh also with speedboat with a journey of 10 to 15 minuets from Gateway of India to Manva. Railways The nearest rail railway station is at Penn. Through Penn, it is connected to Panvel and onwards to Mumbai and the Indian Railways Network. Now Penn Panvel trains are also started from 4 November 2018 now it is easier to reach Alibagh easily. <laughs> <laughs> Boat services The nearest jetty is Mandwa from where catamaran, ferry services are available to Mumbai. Another port in the vicinity is Ruiz, from where a ferry service is available to Ferry Wharf Dhaka Dockyard Road. There is a jetty at Custom Bunder from where fishermen in Alibagh set sail. One can reach Alibagh by catamaran through Gateway of India to Mandwa or from Bauha Dhaka to Ruiz and from Mandwa, Ruiz to Alibagh by bus. Ticket includes journey from Gateway to Mandwa and bus journey from Mandwa to Alibagh bus stop. From Ruiz to Alibagh one needs to take state transport bus or a rickshaw. Take the ferry from Gateway to Mandwa. Services are usually available from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. The trip takes 40 to 55 minutes depending on the type of boat. From Mandwa operators carry passengers to Alibagh in their own chartered buses. The bus journey time is 45 minutes. Alibagh Beach is walking distance from the bus stop. Another option is to take a ferry from Bauha Dhaka to Ruiz. Timings are the same but schedule may change depending on the tide. From Ruiz take state transport bus or rickshaw to Alibagh. Bus journey time, 1 hour to reach Alibagh. 
One benefit of using the Bauha Dhaka – Ruiz route by ferry is that you can take a two-wheeler along on the ferry on this route for a nominal charge. You can go to Alibagh by ST bus from Mumbai. From Mumbai to Alibagh having daily 35 to 40 ST buses. Borivali, Thane, Kalyan, Pune, Kolhapur, Miraj, Nashik have buses to Alibagh. Speedboats from the Gateway of India to Mandwa Jetty take roughly 20 to 25 minutes depending on the weather and can be hired at the Gateway of India at Jetty No. 5 which is opposite the Taj Mahal Hotel. The new jetty installed in 2014 at Mandwa ensures safety of guests traveling by speedboat. Air The nearest airport is in Mumbai which is 140 km away. Demographics As of 2001 India Census, Alibagh had a population of 19,491. Males constitute 52% of the population and females 48%. Alibagh has an average literacy rate of 79%, higher than the national average of 59.5%, with 54% of the males and 46% of females literate. 11% of the population is under 6 years of age. The Alibagh Municipal Council has population of 20,743 of which 10,646 are males while 10,097 are females as per report released by Census India 2011. Population of children with age of 0 6 is 1,833 which is 8.84% of total population of Alibagh. Topic notable personalities from Alibagh Famous celebrities who are born in Alibagh are, Maratha Kohli Admiral Sarkhel Kanoji Angre, V.P. Karmarkar, Akut Patil Akut Buwa, folk artist actor, 1964 Pumshri Award winner sculptor Saswain, General Arun Sridhar Vaidya who led Operation Blue Star, Maharashtra Bhushan Nanasaheb Dharmadakari Jest Nirapankar Revadanda, Padma Vibhushan, Magsaysay and Templeton Award winner Pandurang Shastri Athaval Dadaja Swadhya Parivar Roha, actor Nana Paitkar, Murad, child singer Mugda Vaishampayan, Julie Bandre Mumbai monorail captain, actress Ashwini Bhavi, novelist Tamhankar, actor Devdatta Naj. Tourism The following are the main tourist attractions in and around Alibagh Alibagh Beach – This is the main beach. A very flat stretch makes for a long walk. It is reasonably clean and has thin crowds during the week. The sand has a hard texture and is a shade of black. It is not easy to create sand castles. The tide rolls in from all sides, you may have to wade through water on the way back. Siddeshwar Mandir near Kandale, this is a famous Shiva temple near picturesque hills near village Kandale just 4 km from Alibagh Penn State Highway. You can drive your vehicles near to hillocks and with small trek you can reach this beautiful temple. During Shrawan month, hundreds of people throng to worship here during Shrawani Psalm Wars. If you travel further you can see the remains of ancient fort called Sagargad. From Siddeshwar Temple Sagargad is one half hour away by trekking. It is fully a natural place to enjoy with friends and family, but it is difficult to trek in Manson. There is no fixed route like as Kankeshwar. Alibagh Fort, it is also famous for Lord Ganesh Temple and Darga. Kandari and Undari Islands, one can visit Kandari and Undari Islands, they are heavily fortified and built by Shivaji as sea observation posts in 1660 CE. Most of the fort is intact. The most prominent structure is a lighthouse built in 1837 which is still in service and used for sea navigation. Megan Avit Synagogue, there was once a large Jewish community in Alibagh, most of them were oil pressers and sellers. Bed El Synagogue is the only one in Alibagh. Viceroy Lord Curzon visited this synagogue. This place had been place of worship for the Jewish community, it was where community center, Konkan development programs and village meetings were held. The synagogue is a heritage property with a unique style and is a well-known Indian Jewish and Konkan tourist point. Varsali Beach, about a mile from the main beach, it is home to a large naval base. It is on the outskirts of Alibagh. It is relatively less visited site. 
It is a quiet beach with sparkling white sand and cleaner seawater. Varsali is a small satellite village across Alibog, complete with thick vegetation of coconut and casuarina. Akshi Beach, 6 km from Alibog, the beach is a favorite spot for advertising, TV serial and film shoots. This beach is well suited for children and waders as the sea is flat for a long distance. One can walk through to a considerable distance toward the sea. Nagan Beach, this black sand beach is about 10 km from Alibog and is famous for coconuts and beetle nuts. One can walk on the beach from Nagan Beach to Akshi Beach in 10 minutes. It is more popular for its water sports and most of the tourists coming to Alibog stay near Nagan Beach. It is the cleanest beach among Varsali Beach and Kashid Beach too. Below is the image of the Nagan Beach. Kahim Navgayan Beach, Kahim is a secluded place at a distance of approximately 10 km from Alibog. The Kahim Beach is famous for dense cover of coconut trees. Another occupation of their people is agriculture for woods that are home to rare butterflies, birds and flowers. AWAs, it is situated about 16 km from Alibog. Saswain, it is about 18 km from Alibog. Ruiz, it is about 25 km from Alibog. From Ruiz, there is a ferry boat service to Mumbai and to Uran Chal Revdanda, it is situated about 17 km from Alibog. It is famous weekend tourist spot. Kanakeshwar Mandir, it is about 17 km from Alibog to Karlakhind, Kandi Road, 13 km from Alibog to the northeast. This very famous Shiv temple on a 900 feet, high hill. It is a 5,000-foot climb on well-paved stairs, which takes around one hour. Landmarks along the route are tombs of Mohinguri and Balgiri, Nagoba Rest, Jambali Plateau, God Stair, Gaimandi etc. The scenic temple premises comprises small temples of Sri Palishwar, Sri Hanuman, Sri Balram Krishna and Lord Shiv. The special attraction is an ancient sweet water tank enclosed in traditional structure of black stone. The ancient temple was built by Raja Ramdiorai Yadav. The height of the Shiv temple is 54 feet. The front gate has lion sculpture on both sides with traditional lamp pillar deep mall in front. The four-foot pindi of Lord Shiv is silver-plated. The premises also include Nagar Khanna, Bhim Kunda, a garden for flowers to be offered to the Lord, Sri Ram Ganesh Temple and Gomuka. Every year, there is a fair on Kartik Purnima in Hindu calendar. On this hill, a variety of herbs are found. Mandawa, it is situated about 17 km north of Alibog. The catamaran, ferry services are available from Mumbai to the Mandawa jetty. Speed boats are also available from Mandva to reach Mumbai by only 10 to 15 minutes. Kashid Beach, it is 49 km from Alibog, on the Alibog Murid Highway. Also, this beach is possibly one of the cleanest and most beautiful beaches in the region with almost white sand. There are many cottages and resorts available ranging from around 1,500 Indian rupees to 20,000 Indian rupees. Prakruti Resort is the luxury and the costliest of all. This village does not have any wine shops. One has to go around 6 kilometers towards Murad to buy alcohol. Kashid is the perfect place to relax for urban people. One can find water sports facility and number of small shops for snacks. There is a danger board warning people of dangerous tides. Korle Beach, a quiet serene beach with alternate white and black sands, along a serene stretch of the Arabian coastline, adjacent to a village of Korle Creole Portuguese-speaking Indians. Just across the bridge, to the right there is Korle Fort within the sea and attached to the mainland by a narrow land strip through the Korle Fort through the Korle village. It is supposed to have been built by the Portuguese in 1521. The main gate has an inscription which means, no entry without a fight. The fort has seven gates, a sweet water well, a church in disuse, a Hindu temple and a lighthouse which is still used for navigation. Gallery Other attractions Kolaba or Kulaba Fort, not to be confused with Kolaba in Mumbai, is in the sea 1 to 2 kilometers from the Alibog shores. During low tide, one can walk to the fort. The fort used to have a sweet water well. Kanakeshwar Temple is on a hill near Mapgaon village, about 12 kilometers from Alibog, and falls on the way to Mandawa. 
The temple also has a footway through the village Zerdpada. Tower of St. Barbara Satkani Baraj. Chal is a historic town about 15 km from Alibag. It is famous for its Portuguese ruins, an old church, a synagogue, Buddhist caves, the Hammam Khana and a temple. More than 365 old temples are present in Chal town. The famous fair at Chal Bovale is celebrated in December month it starts from Data Janti and lasts for five to seven days. The peoples from various places comes for this fair. Shitaladevi Temple, Chal is about 18 km from Alibagh. It is historic and famous temple in Chal. Vikram Vinayak Temple or Birla Temple, Salav is situated about 20 km away from Alibagh. Sagargad Karmarkar Museum, a museum of exquisite sculptures from the renowned sculptor Padmashri V.P. Karmarkar in Sasavna, about 18 km from Alibagh Bus Depot. Kanoji Angre Samadhi Uma Maheshwar Shiva Temple Balaji Temple Murad Hanhira, Hanhira is a fort situated not very far from Alibagh. It was built by Sidi traders. Shivaji failed to capture the fort from the Siddhas. One can find fresh water pounds inside the fort even today. Data Mandir, situated at Bawale, 2 km from Chal. Data Tekdi Veshvi, a Data Mandir situated on a small hill near Veshvi. It is about 6 to 7 km from Alibagh. Hingalia Mandir, situated near Data Mandir, historic temple built by Pandwas. Magnetic Observatory, established in 1904 by the Indian Institute of Geomagnetism. Although after 26 11ths, the security has been tightened and access to the observatory has been restricted. A written permission from the Panvel Office of Indian Institute of Geomagnetism needs to be presented when entering the premises of the observatory in Alibagh. Corlay Fort and Corlay Creole Portuguese of Corlay Village, situated between Chal and Kashid, a village of Indians born of Indo-Portuguese ancestors, speaking a unique Creole of Portuguese and a fort lost in the sands of history. Hiracote Lake, nearly 500 metres from the Magnetic Observatory. Bhuvaneshwar Temple, it is situated at Narangi Village, 20 kilometres from Alibagh. It is a very famous and historical temple. Every year, there is a fair on Mahashivratri in Hindu calendar. On this hill, a variety of herbs are found. Fifteen village are taking care of management. They have established in management committee. Satvira Temple, it is situated at Shurawali village, 16 km far from Alibagh. It is a very famous and historical temple. Every year, Navratri days many people visited this temple. On this hill, a variety of herbs are found. They have established in Shurawali village peoples. 